If you are wondering how we account for investments in other companies, this video will give you an introduction to this area of accounting, so you will have a foundation to build on when you study this area in more detail later in your degree. Long-term investments are investments where management intend to keep the investments for more than one year. They can include shares of other companies, property and financial instruments. We will focus on long-term investments that involve investing in the shares of other companies that are associated companies or subsidiary companies. These investments are accounted for using the equity or consolidated methods. The equity method is used when a long-term investment involves investing in an associated company. An associated company is where the investing company has significant influence over, but not control of, the investee company. Where an investing company holds 20% or more of the shares in an investee company, the existence of significant influence is presumed, unless there is clear evidence to the contrary. And where the investing company holds less than 20% of the shares in an investee company, it is presumed there is no significant influence, unless there is clear evidence to the contrary. Where the equity method is used, the investment is initially recorded at cost in the balance sheet. When the associated company makes a profit, the investor company increases the value of its assets by their percentage share of the profit of the associated company. Dividends received from the associated company reduce the carrying amount of the investment. And the investor's share of the investee's profit or loss is recognised in the investor's income statement. For those situations where the investor company, parent, controls the investee company, subsidiary, we use the consolidation method. A parent company controls a subsidiary when it is exposed or has rights to variable returns from its involvement with the investee and has the ability to affect those returns through its power over the investee. This is the case when a parent has more than 50% of the shares in an investee company. If a firm has 50% or less of the shares in an investee company, it is a matter of judgment whether the firm controls the investee company. When the consolidation method is used, consolidated financial statements are prepared for each of the four financial statements by adding up the financial statements of each company in a group into a single set of consolidated financial statements. There is a lot of complexity to doing this and you will study this in detail in Act 19061, Advanced Financial Accounting. For further information on investments in other companies, go back to Chapter 8, Section 8.4 in the Study Guide and also review the equity weekly questions. Also answer, write and rate questions on equity in PYs.